Order your copy today with the language of kings that's going to the word of God. The power of God is in your words. Come on, the Bible says you're going to have whatsoever you say. Come on, say that with me. Say, I'm going to have what I say. That's how I keep you in church. I got to keep preaching with you. Say, you're going to have what you say. Come on. Practice that principle. Come on, I'm going to have what I say. And so if I say that I'm broke, then guess what? If I say I'm sick, then guess what? If I say I'm sad, then guess what? Because you're going to what? Have exactly what you say. And the devil knows if you can start saying the right thing, then he's going to be in trouble. Come on. This, this is why he attacked you early in the morning. When you wake up out your bed, he's already plagued your mind with something that he's put on your mind to throw your day off. So you can get up and say, I feel sick. The moment you say, I feel sick, you are attaching sickness to your day. Are you here with upset? I, I'm sad. I'm upset. The enemy brought that in your life so you can attach that to your words. And the moment that is attached to your words, then you're going to speak because the devil, the only that the devil has is the power to enter into your life through what you say. Y'all ain't talking to me up again. Listen, when anything you say, you give the devil entrance into your life. If you say, I'm sick, you just gave him an introduction, hello, to come into your life that day and to contaminate your whole entire day. But if you wake up in the morning and say, I feel healed, I feel rich, I feel happy. I feel like my marriage is going to be fine. I feel like my children are going to be successful. I feel like everything is going to flow right on my job. I feel like I ain't running out of gas today. I feel like, I feel like everything is going to be fine. And the moment you start speaking those things that are not as though they were, the Bible says these things are going to begin to be attached to your life. Hello, look at you. Can we practice that for three seconds? Somebody say, I feel rich. I feel whole. I feel healthy. I feel like my relationship is going to prosper. I feel like my child is going to be the next president. I feel like my I ain't talking to me this morning. Come on. I feel like things are going to work out in my favor. And the more you speak that, the Bible says these things are going to be attached to your life. Hello, look on your road, look down your road and say, neighbor, I speak blessings on you. Uh, come on, say, I speak blessings on your life and death is of the power of the tongue. Hey, come on, there. there's no way you can sit on my road this Sunday morning and not be blessed because I'm going to speak those things that are not as though they were. I feel that you're getting ready to walk into something that I haven't seen in ears haven't heard, neither haven't entered into the hearts of it. I feel like God's about to blow your mind. I feel like God's about to make your marriage blossom. I just speak this over your life. The more you speak those things that are not as though they were, the Bible says those things have to start manifesting. Because Jesus says, whatsoever you ask in my name, I'll give it to you. Come on, glory. That's how. Say, come on, if somebody told you that, come on. If you were standing before the President of the United States and you say, he said to you, whatsoever you ask, I give it to you. What you would say? Somebody said, let me get yourself. <laughs> now, let's give you Obama ain't God. Would never be God, can't be God. Some of the sin he make let us know he ain't God. Hello, but if God told you that, come on, why are you quiet? If God said, whatsoever you ask in my name, I'll give it to you. And so watch this. What is the job of Satan? I'm gonna make this short. Y'all better ride with me. I'm gonna make this short. Cursing is not just saying bad. Profanity, the root word for profanity is profane to, to speak beneath your ability. So watch this. Can I give you a little revelation this morning? If you said this morning, I'm broke, you just cuss. Because you spoke beneath your ability. Your ability is to speak on the level of kings and priests. 
So, come on, your job is to say, that's what the Bible says, come on. That the, the, the weak say, I'm what? And then the word said it, that the what? That you might be feeling weak, but he said, you better not say it, because if you say it, you're going to attach weakness to your life. Let the poor say, I am. Did the Bible say that? You, bet you might feel poor. Hello. You might have fly, fried up a lonely sandwich this morning. But you better speak a steak in your house. Y'all ain't talking to me up in here. Don't you let your condition change your position. Hello. I might be feeling like I'm weak. But I'm not going to say I'm weak. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to look like I'm weak. Every time you see me, I'm going to look like I'm strong. Or your copy today. The Language of Kings, offer number 100 by Pastor Eric Anglin and the Bible Church of God, Winter Even Florida. Because the more we do this, the more we're going to build the same mind and the same language. And we're going to all talk just alike. You're not going to go and have a pity party around a bunch of kings and priests. Because the moment you go over, over that side of the room and tell somebody your problem, they're going to have the same language as this sister had over here. They're going to say the same thing. Well, come on. God can do anything but fail. If there is anything too hard for the Lord, whose report are you going to believe? And the more the culture and the language has been formed in the household of faith, then we're going to see grow.